Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today I'm going to unbox and review the new digital wind instrument by Carry On. Very excited about this. Let's open it. Play anywhere. Instructions. Very nice. A cloth case. This apparently is a washable mouthpiece cover and the instrument itself. So this is the size of a soprano recorder. I can already, first impressions, it seems sleek, well-made, it feels nice, it's very light. We have a headphone port and a charging port that's just regular USB. And there are no buttons or keys, but these kind of just places to put your fingers. I already see double holes at the bottom, recorder points, and even could this be a double thumb hole for the half thumb? Hmm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Wow, we have the whole regular range of the recorder. Two octaves and a tone. Interestingly enough, only the B flats are different. For the low B flat, you just need your left hand. The top octave is given as an A sharp. Um, and for this, you need finger six as well. There are two fingering types. I'm obviously on recorder fingering. If you press the F, you can toggle between recorder and simple fingering. Doesn't seem to be that much different, but you can play the top B and C like this. Ah, if only a real recorder was like that. The only other digital wind instrument that comes close to this is the E Corder. I'm immediately noticing one thing that I'm not so happy with and that's the response of the notes is sometimes a little slow. Listen to what happens if I try and trill. Just the instrument trying to keep up with, <laughs> with my lightning speed. But in all seriousness, one of the things I love about the recorder is that it's so fast with its response. Um, and this is a little bit behind, you might notice it. That's my only quibble so far. We are in the octave of the soprano recorder, but let me introduce you to the transpose function with the T on the back. If I go down seven semitones, we should be transposed down to the range of an alto recorder. Yep, if we go down 12 semitones, we're an octave lower. It's a tenor. How high can we go? Yes, we can go up to the range of a sopranino or even a gark line. So this transposition up any semitone within a two octave range, that's super nice. V for voice, there are 10 different sounds programmed into the digital wind instrument and of course I didn't say the other thing that I really like about this it has an internal speaker voice number one is recorder kind of similar Number 10, the Sona has a built-in vibrato. Good to know. So nice choice of 10 wind instruments. They do sound quite digital. I wouldn't mistake it for a real saxophone. 
Um, but that's okay. You can choose from one to three different breath sensitivities. Ooh, something interesting. It responds quite well to your breath, so you can make a nice breath vibrato, but it gives the vibrato with volume. When you produce a vibrato on an acoustic recorder, the vibrato is with pitch as well as volume. The advantage of this is that you can do dynamics on the digital wind instrument without going out of tune. The disadvantage is it takes a little bit of that vulnerability and that life out of an acoustic instrument. <laughs> Obviously, because it's a robot. Not a complaint, just an observation. Voice, breath, fingering, transposition. Yes, those are the features. We've got some uh, volume up and down. Volume one is very soft. And if you have neighbours who are really going to complain, even when you're playing on the softest setting, you can practice silently with the, <laughs> let's find it, with the headphone port. Yeah, that's a headphone wearing me. Just, does it respond to articulation? No, it responds well to your breath volume, but not the strength of the tongue. Just so you know, we've got a little USB port here to charge the battery like you would your phone. Apparently the battery life is about three hours in one continuous use. There's one last feature on here that I've not seen, Bluetooth. I connected my digital wind instrument to GarageBand in my phone and then I can play all the instruments in there too and record them. Would you like to hear my amazing composition that I created just for you? I know, thank you. Mozart, I definitely am. Like anything else, this will take some time to get the hang of, but I really like you can use it as a MIDI recording instrument as well as a playing instrument. The price, I believe this is going on the market at 79 pounds or 99 euros or US dollars. Um, this does put it in a price category above that of your plastic recorder. It's comparable with a simple small MIDI keyboard and it's a price class below the professional level digital instruments on the market like the Ewe or the Pro Roland Aerophone. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't put on the washable mouthpiece. So all in all, I am thoroughly impressed by the digital wind instrument. It doesn't do everything, but what it does, it does really well. And that's the most important thing. The settings are simple, easy to use, and they function. I really like how close it gets to the recorder in terms of the fingering, um, and it's very nice response with the breath pressure. And I have to say, um, I have played it quite a bit before this video. <laughs> And John and my daughter, who's nearly four, have both been obsessed with it as well. So it's good for young and old. Thank you very much, Carry On, for sending this to me to try out. I'll put links in the description if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. Over here's the Team Recorder Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And here are some more reviews of electronic recorder type wind instruments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!